Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest segment. Today is a design perfect for a bridal tea party or maybe a bridal shower, all based in a special little teapot. For flowers, I chose some fragrant lily of the valley, little tiny grape hyacinth or muscari, some beautiful pink spray roses, and then bits of geranium, blooms and leaves, just small and delicate, perfect for a tea party. The container is a treasured teapot, and I'm going to fill that with water. Use it like a vase. Then for the cups, I'll just tuck a tiny bit of foam in to give myself a little more control. Just cutting it down. It's been pre-soaked. Just a little bit set right in place to support the flowers. As I fill the teapot, I want to think very delicate and tiny. Certainly don't want to overpower. So cutting it quite short and then just setting it down in, letting it break the line of the container naturally by draping across and repeating that. Again, going in the opposite direction. So I'm creating a crossing of all the stems which will then support the things in the center. So I've crossed through, creating a weave then I can go back and add things that go upright through the center because the other flowers will hold them in place. So the lily of the valley can come right up. Oh, so fragrant and fabulous. And the muscari, maybe bring it out to the side. And then working it up towards the center as well, bringing that color in. Then a little bit of the geranium. Again, crossing through, weaving, letting it be very casual. Don't want it to be formal because it's such beautiful little flowers. You want just a very delicate placement so everything blends and weaves and supports the bloom next to it. Having the little bit of foam in the teacups makes it easier because they're so shallow. The flowers could kind of flip out if I wasn't careful, but I just need to make sure and get them embedded in there so that they're in nice and deep. I don't have to worry quite so much about the weaving because the foam is holding it in place. And then go back and add some of the roses. Now some, these are going to be too long, so I'm going to cut this one off and cut this one off. And then go back and insert this on the master stem. And I can still use these, but I use them individually, nice and tiny, tucking them down low, close. And it actually starts covering the foam just with this little bit of material. And I can go back, add one of the lily of the valley, maybe a mascari. and then taking a look and adding blooms in the other cups to finish filling in. To add just a little bit of romantic sparkle, either Lomi gems or Diamante pins could go in. With the Lomi gem, oftentimes I'll go ahead and just cut the wire completely off and using the Oasis Full Adhesive, the cold glue, little bit of glue on the back. Let it begin to set. And then glue it directly to a leaf or another bloom with the diamante pins. It's perfectly fine to go ahead and just insert it directly through the bloom and down into the foam, pushing it through looking like a little bit of sparkling dewdrop in there. Or you can place them just down into the foam itself. Maybe into a bloom. 
Let it come through. Follows the stem down. Maybe another of the Lomi gems. If you like this idea, this teapot is a treasured one. I'm not letting it go. But I've used teapots and teacups that I've collected, like from the Goodwill or the Salvation Army, and created all these designs, and then send them home with the guests as a keepsake of their special luncheon or shower. As a child, I loved to play tea party with my dolls. And I remember my very first adult tea party when I was eight years old. I made myself so sick because I drank tea that had lemon and sugar and cream and brown sugar and anything that I could think of that was there on the table, I put in my tea. It didn't occur to me to maybe pick one or two things and enjoy. As an adult, I still love everything. But I've learned that tea is best black. I love it plain. And now as an adult, I still love to play tea party. For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you have ideas or thoughts or questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach us through the website, flowerschool.com, or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. If it's easier, use my personal email and of course, I love to see pictures of your tea party. But feel free to contact me at Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. For now, happy wedding season, happy bridal shower, happy bridal luncheon, happy everything, and do something you love.